I have news. I don't know if you guys can see what this is, but this is the Rock on the Range 2017 lineup. Rock on the Range, although I'm not attending it myself because it's in Ohio. I can't say I'm not attending it, but I most likely won't be attending because it's in Ohio. And here in Florida, we have Welcome to Rockville in Jacksonville, Florida, and that is where I will be. I didn't do a prediction series, but after this video, I am going to have a predictions um, for Welcome to Rockville that I made before this lineup came out and see if I was accurate. It's probably only going to be about five predictions, so short video. But I just really wanted to make this today to tell you guys how excited I am to potentially 85%, 90% sure see these bands and similar bands when Rockville comes around in, I believe, May. Connor made a video to this as well. He also made a prediction series. I'm going to link his channel and his prediction video. Wait. In his reaction video in my description. I'm not sure if I'm going to link the prediction videos of his yet but please if you go to his channel and you check out his reaction video check out his prediction videos and subscribe to that boy if you enjoy them um yeah so this is going to be my personal reaction which might be a little different than his because we have a little bit of a music taste variation i mean we have a very similar music taste but we definitely have a variation so i'm going to start reading it the headliners for rock on the range 2017 are Metallica, Soundgarden, and Korn. My reaction to this, Metallica is a big band, a huge band. I personally do not listen to them, so I won't mind if they don't show up at Rockville. I won't mind really at all. And I feel like they're going to be the exclusive headliner at Rock on the Range. I don't think they're going to be at Rockville. Korn, again, Connor got me so into Korn. I start listening to Korn all the time when I just want music to not be sad to. Like, I listen to Korn really often now, actually, and I'm trying to listen to all their music. Awesome band. I would love to see them. They are one of the bands that I was like, I really hope they're at Rockville this year. I really hope that they're at Rockville so we can get crazy. Next line. The Offspring, Volby, Primus? Primus? Primus, Don't Kill Me, and Bush. Here we go. The Offspring. So yeah, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> um, Volbeat. Volbeat is a band that I was not a huge fan of for a little while, and then my boy came along and really changed that for me. I also apologize, it's getting dark, so it gets dark at like 5.30 now, which is, <clears throat> which is so annoing. Anyway, that, ca that carries us on to the next band, which is, the next band is Primus, or Primus, who I've actually never heard of before, but Connor's excited to. But Connor's excited to see them, so they must be pretty decent. Then we have Bush. Heard of them? I don't know if I've ever heard any of their music. My mom said she wants to go to see them. So, maybe they'll be at Rockville as well. Next line, we got Chevelle, Papa Roach, Seether, and Coed and Cambria. Alter Bridge, The Pretty Reckless, Taking Back Sunday, and Thrice. Um, Alter Bridge... I don't personally listen to, but they're one of Connor's top bands that he has to see. So, like, you know, they're one of those other ones, like, you know, if another band that I didn't, like, really, 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 really like was playing at the same time, like, I would go see Alter Bridge. The Pretty Reckless, not a huge fan. My dad is a huge fan of The Pretty Reckless. They're alright. 
Um, but I don't really have any interest in seeing them live. And then we have a man of Marth. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Pierce the Veil, Skillet, Sum 41, and Gojira. Pier the first one I'm not going to say anything about. Pierce the Veil, Pierce the Veil are my boys. I love them. They are amazing. They're not the typical rock band that you would expect at one of these festivals, but um, you know, throw it throws some variety in there, and I'm really, I'm really, really excited. Now I'm gonna move on to the next line. We have Dillinger Escape Plan, In Flames, Billy, Clurd, Motionless in White, Motionless in White. All right, I've seen these guys once. They have one or two songs that I like, but I'm not really a fan of them or a fan of their li live performing, so I don't really think I would drop by. Um, they're one of those bands that I would see if they opened for another band, but I'm not, I wouldn't go see them deliberately. Then we have Nothing More, Beartooth, Star Set, Every Time I Die, and The Story So Far. The story so far, which was definitely a little bit of a surprise because, as you'll see by my prediction video for Rockville, I was expecting a different pop punk group to um, show up, but we have the story so far, which I have to say I'm really excited about if they are at Rockville. I've seen them twice live um, in a festival setting. I really want them to do a headlining tour. I really want to see them in a concert setting. I like the variation of this lineup. I feel like there's some pop punk, there's some, you know, more radio rock music, some more post-hardcore, some really heavy music. There's, it's a great variety. It's, it's great. It's a great assortment of bigger and smaller bands as well. Next line, we have Def Haven, Zach, Sabbath, Rival Sons, The Amity, Affliction, and Attila. Um, these guys played a show recently in Orlando that I did not go to with um, Chelsea Grin and some other bands. And yeah, um, you know, I might I might give them a listen depending on who's playing at the same time. Maybe. They have some sick breakdowns. And if you didn't notice by the last clip, um, their breakdowns are amazing. Then we have Norma Jean, Suicide Silence, Whitechapel, I Prevail in Turnstile. I Prevail, saw them with Pierce Veil vale and Neck Deep. They were really awesome. I would definitely check them out again. Um, in turn style, haven't really listened to them. Dinosaur Pile Up, Red Fang, Dorothy King, and Radke. Haven't heard of any of those bands. I heard of Dinosaur Pile Up somewhere, and I've heard of Radke, but all the others I've never heard of. Um, as lines, Frank Carter in the Rattlesnakes, Siler in Fire from the Gods. The only one I've heard of from that line is Siler, who opened up for Attila in Chelsea Grin and Amir. Um, at the beach um, a couple weeks ago and I keep hinting at it I might as well link Connor's vlog to Attila down below too so please check that out um, Bad Flower, Rage War, Goodbye June, Cover Your Tracks and DED which I'm assuming is dead never heard of any of those bands except for Wage War and those guys are freaking sick um, they have a show coming up in a, a few weeks that I will probably be attending they're sick. I'm so... I really hope that they're at Rockville in case I don't attend their show in a few weeks. They're... Wow. Those guys are... Really you should check them out. That song was The River by Wage War. All rights go to them. And yeah, this leaves us with our very last line. Bleaker, Royal Republic, Mother Feather, A E G E S, Agus, and One Less Reason. There you have a full reaction of all the bands that I'm excited for about Rock on the Range um, and hoping that they'll be at Rockville. If I could pick a top five, I would say Corn, The Offspring, Volbeat. Maybe Amity and
Did I already say Papa Roach? I might have to put Papa Roach above Pierce Seville this time because I've never seen Papa Roach before, but that was really difficult. I really hope that these bands are at Rockville. That would be so amazing. And my next video will be predictions for Rockville that I did make before this lineup came out, but I did have a couple of them right. And so you'll be able to check that out. And then next video having to deal with this will be reaction to Rockville lineup that comes out on December 5th. And I'm so excited. I think me and Connor are going to make a joint video. I keep talking about him because this whole rock and roll thing is like kind of our thing. And yeah, I really, really hope you guys like this video, even though it probably ended up being really long. Let me know down in the comments below who you're excited to see, whether you're going to Rock on the Range. And this goes for the other festivals as well. Fort Rock, which is like a couple days before Rockville, and Carolina Rebellion, and whatever other music festivals that you guys are attending. I really, really hope that you get to see your favorite bands. I'm so hyped, so excited. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to check out my Q&A video. The link will be in the description below and was the video that I made before this video. I'm wearing the same outfit and everything. Not much changed. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check out all those other videos that I link in the description. And subscribe to my boy, Connor White, over here. Right here. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. My phone just crashed.